Organifi Red is the new superfood with three proprietary blends. The antioxidant blend fights the effects of aging by reducing cellular damage, boosts your well-being and lower fatigue with the endurance blend, lower inflammation and increased metabolism with the metabolic boosting blend. Available in pharmacies nationwide or contact Gradient Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. The Wellness Center introduces the Super Fricator. It instantly removes skin growths and irregularities like skin tags, age spots, ring flesh, and spots from the face and body. Using non-surgical procedures, the Wellness Center can instantly lift the face, bust, arms, and legs, treat psoriasis and dermatitis, remove puffy dark eye circles, double chin, wrinkles, and even restore bold, thinning hair. Call Mrs. Bagan, a qualified medical aesthetician with over 30 years of experience for a microscopic consultation. Call 673-7418. If you're building or renovating, make RMA Hardware your first glass and only stop. We have all types of blocks for a steady finish. We've got you covered with our plain and painted roofing galvanized sheets, I-beams and CNC pull-ins. Our BRC can be beaten on price or quality. We have decking sheets, TCL cement and much more, all at affordable prices. So come into our two locations, Derrick Road, Chase Village or Eastern Main Road in Aruka. Call us at 665-9526 or 672-8557. This thing with these, these turtles and them, this is all over the world, eh? all over the world that these people, you know, protect animals and whatnot, those, envi those people, the environmental people, persons and things. And just imagine the see who doesn't know nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. And, and you know, our next thing that, you, you know, our next thing that I just, want, I, just, I just want to touch on right now, you have to be very careful right now. You know, so many children, so many children home looking at their look looking at computers and whatnot and their phones for so many hours and that is why as of today i have decided not to give out um not to give out gift vouchers for the full glass from from adams and and neo to adults we're going to focus on kids because it's a serious thing and nobody's paying attention to it huh? absolutely nobody's paying attention to it. there's there's what you call a cvs a cvs syndrome and a lot of kids suffering with CVS syndromes right now. You'll be surprised, you know, in the last year that a lot, a lot of children, this is what you call computer vision syndrome, CVS. Now, let me, it, it refers to problem with the eyes and vision related issues relating from prolonged use of digital devices. You see, these children who hold it on the, they own a device. And when they take that break, they are not walking out of their rooms and they are staying on the device and maybe they use their phone and playing games on their phones. So there is no rest. There is no rest. There is no, there is, there is, there is no rest for their eyes. So a lot, a lot of children, you know, I was just listening. I was just listening to, in fact, is that a nice article I read um, that statistics coming, coming from a particular um, optical center said that that in 2019, 84 children visited the eye exam for eye exam and 36 needed glasses. That was in 2019. But in 2020, which is last year, since, you know, everything on, on computer and whatnot, Zoom, Zoom classes and whatnot, you have had 137 37 children visited and 60 needed glasses compared to 2019 where 36 needed and where now 60 needed. So a lot of children, ladies and gentlemen, they are becoming, you know, they're, they're getting that, syn that, that syndrome, computer vision syndrome. So it's CVS and it's very, very important that you take your children, you take your children for eye test, eye examination and whatnot. Now, I wouldn't tell you to go anywhere. All I would tell you is to look at, is to look at, the, look at the advertisers and go to Neo. You can go to Neo or you can go to Adams Optical. 
These are the two places because they support us and kids can call. If you, if, if you go there and you need to get a, 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 a glasses or whatnot, if you call the show, you, you can get assistance. But you need to see if your child has, a, has that, syn that computer vision syndrome right now. All over the world they're talking about it. So I just wanted to touch because a lot of parents out there, you know, who have kids and whatnot, every, they, they spend hours. I myself, I myself cannot stay in front of a computer for about two hours. I'll go mad or three hours or four. I can't do that. By the time I go in like that, by the time I, I go in like that, I get a headache already. And this Zoom, and the, you see, it all goes back. It all goes back, ladies and gentlemen. It all goes back to the vaccine. It all goes back to the vaccine. It all goes back to the vaccine because you're hearing all kind of lies. You are hearing all kind, all different, all different kind of lies. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, and I am sure somebody asked me if I can touch, if I can just touch back on, the, on, on what I said yesterday with respect to Augustine. Of course I can. Let me break it down for two and three minutes. I can do this for you. Augustine Pub, uh, Limited, a publicly listed company, and it's a majority owned by the Mute family. Remember the Mute, the, the Mute family, that um, same people that own KFC and whatnot. They're the same people that own Super Farm. All the Super Farm, yeah? All the Super Farm. What they did, ladies and gentlemen, they made an acquisition with respect to, um, with respect, now, Augustine said the, 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 the transaction is supposed to close how they, how, how, how they make an acquisition for Oscar Francois. That's an, an, another pharmaceutical company that sells milk. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Oscar Francois, they have been around for a very, very long time. They have been around since 1958 as a small distribution company. So, the Augustine people, the Mote family, as you can see, let me just tell you now, let me tell all you, let me tell all you what's going to happen in this country. I just, I just rising up all you now. Let me tell you this, let me, come now man, let me tell all you this. In 2020, an annual report, Augustine reported a 4.6% increase in its revenue to 3.43 billion for 12 months. Way! An annual report, Augustine reported a 4.6% increase in its revenue to $3.43 billion in the 12 months ending September the 31st, 2020. Last year, September the 20, the, the, the 31st, 2020, when everybody was balling, when everybody was at home, when everybody, everybody was just out of it. September that year, September 31st, go back to one year. Their profit, ladies and gentlemen, was 3.43 billion. Yeah. Augustine after tax for 2020 increased by 3.7% by, by to 106.89 million. Augustine Group, Augustine Group, ladies and gentlemen, revenue also increased Triple in the last 10 years, increasing from 1.25 billion in 2011 to 3.42 billion in 2020. They are the same people who own food, super farm and whatnot now. But let me tell you something. Last week, last week, now they are, now, now they, are, they have taken over um, Oscar Francois. You remember Oscar Francois represent international companies as Dwight and Jensen and and Merck. You know, it's only last week the U.S. Federal Drug Administration approved Johnson & Johnson vaccine for emergency use only. And also they said, they said they will partner with Merck to manufacture the Jensen COVID-19 vaccine. You remember? You remember Oscar Francois, they represent that company. But now they, now they, they, they have a lot of brands, a lot of popular pharmaceutical brands and whatnot. So now what's happening now is that since the Mute family, they have taken over that. They have taken over that. That deal closing in April. That is why now you notice it's only the vaccine. They are saying, saying it's cheer up. You know it's cheer up? Little bit, little bit coming, little bit. All the time it's 100,000. So, 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 so. Because they're waiting for the Augustine people to bring in the COVID-19 drugs so we will buy it from them or they will sell it to us at, and they will make a big profit. This pharmacy business is going to crash because let me tell you something, all of you who, do, who never want to go buy certain drugs, you want to go buy, give me some names of some drugs, so by Nancy, you want to go away again. 
By where? By runs. Yeah. You want to go by super farm? Look at money super farm making. And now, ladies and gentlemen, hear what the president is saying. Hear what hear this man. Yesterday, however, pharmaceutical board president Andrew Rahman admitted concerns over the move. I am wary of the freedom they have to increase their prices. We have complained with blah blah blah. We may want to go with that. I don't want to go with that as yet. But they're concerned. The pharmaceutical board, they are very concerned. Because what could happen now? If I am a, if I buy out, I buy out everybody. I buy out everybody. Do you think, do you think I come in out a, you have a pharmacy, I own super farm. I am the owner of all these super farms. Do you think, remember it have no Oscar Francois again, that done, yeah, they done, they done, they done. Because all that is to bring in the COVID-19 now. That's a break it down for you. But look at the buildings they're making. What you made last year? What you made? And D.L. Singh, Rowley, everybody know about this. But nobody's saying nothing. Nobody's saying nothing. And they don't want you to know, but pharmacies, small pharmacies, going to suffer. They're going to suffer. They're going to suffer. And all what, he, all, all what Rahman's saying, all what the president of the pharmaceutical board talking about, Andrew, them do business, and you think Augustine and Mute family business? You really think them business? Partner, when they matter sell you back something, take it or leave it, or you're getting super farm. Yeah, when they matter sell you something, so I can come. I sell you the same product, but will I sell you to compete with me? Will I make sure that I sell you to compete with me? Well, that's the stupidest thing I have ever heard in my life. And you all have to have your eyes open. You have to have your eyes open. That's not the pharmacists and them, all the pharmacies and I'm going to go by the Red House too. I'm telling you, all you have to get up, you know. All you have to get up be the man selling away this place, you know. Them living like 99% like, like of this country do exist, you know. Here now, Rowley and this administration operate, ladies and gentlemen, that cross the lighthouse. It have nothing alive in it. It have no, no life after that lighthouse in No life in No life, no life, no life in And that is how they, that is how, according to my good friend, Attorney Gerald Ramdin, he said they're rubbing it in your face. They're doing what they want and they're rubbing it in your face. That is what they're doing. They're rubbing it in your face. Small pharmacies are under attack in They are under attack. Because now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no Oscar Francois. All the less small who bought from Oscar Francois because long time people who suffer, the doctor could buy a little, get them a little prescription and they have to get a little medication in, in, you know, in bulk. The poor people ain't go hire a little car, they go, go buy Oscar Francois, they go buy it. Six months supply. It done. It done. It done. It done. It done. It done. So now, you think the owners of Super Farm coming for you to compete with them? Huh. Well, you upside down. You upside down. The pharmacist board could watch where they want. They could watch and wait for the coming of the Lord. But now, them do business. They do business. The bold face about it. You remember when the place was closed and chicken coming in in KFC? What you say? Oh, they had to give out in hampers. Oh, that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. That's the biggest lie. Every time I go there, I put them in the place, you know. If you see a catch me in a drive through what do I order? I order some KFC. I buy about five, about four boxes at KFC. She giving me the drink in a plastic bag. She gave me the drink like that. And I like, but you don't have the like carrier thing and then, what you call that? Where you stick out, like if you go by rituals and then you get the coffee thing, the carrier thing. I say, but what the hell, why? And I spend my money by all, yeah? By the time when I was just in a little mood and I say, okay, 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 but I get them back and give me back my money, you know. I am that kind of person. They are treating me different. Nobody going to treat me different. And that is the confidence you must have in yourself not to be treated differently. I tell you, in the coming days, you, in the coming days, you were shocked, you know. You were shocked because I know my value. I know who I am. When I tell you, when I tell you where, I, where I am going and what I did, what I did to show people how I could rank. And I am Ian Allen. Watch me. Rowley are coming in your face. I tell it on national television. So what going on with the pharmaceutical board? Keep your eyes open. And even ladies and gentlemen, you see the next shareholder, John Abood, the, am the amalgamated security guy there. He's the director of Augustine. He's, he's a director of the Augustine own. One, he owns 1.72%. So he, he and them link up too. He's a landlord for four, for four of the super farms. He's landlord now for um, 
Shogun has vows in Gulf View and West Morin. So everything is tying up now. But there's we people, we black people, we black people to catch. We black people. We African, we East Indian to catch. When they're making money, as soon as the little black boy rise up in La Hoketa, they bring police for him. <laughs> as soon as he rise up, man making billions of dollars, billions of dollars. Boy, I will not be intimidated by none of them, but none of them, none. Absolutely none of them. None of them, ladies and gentlemen. None of them. I tell you, none of them. Yeah, I tell you that. I mix up my thing here, yes. Open up your lines. You know, just to let you know. And even with, even with, I see I like to touch on things. Watch that gas thing, you know. Watch that gas thing. Let me tell you something. Nobody are getting up for no bar owner. And you see bar owners, all they look for that. All they look for that. All they take it in, all they waste and take it lying down too. Take it lying down. Because that is what all they want to do. All they take it lying down. If all they get up and start a rango tango, Rolly go know because Rolly see nobody. Why you think? Why do you think that that is, that that the minister of finance he joked about it that day on a chair. He said he sat down and he said, "Ha ha! I raised it three times and nobody here get up." That the only thing raising in his life was the prices for gas. He said, "I raised it three times." When you go in town, them on on, on Picton Street, them are big big building and nobody asking a question and. We are, we are a bunch of fools. That's why I say, time to move the rubbish in Parliament. Rubbish. Nobody, nobody seeks our interests. Nobody. Nobody. Feel we dotish. Here the I'll sing now. Here the I'll sing. Let me tell you fast, shot one time. The I'll sing had come to arm. Let me tell you the fast thing. World Health Organization, COVAX facility, speaking at the Ministry of Virtual News Conference, the I'll sing said, at a cost of U.S. 148,000, Trey and Tobago was only able to secure 300, no, 33,600 doses of the AstraZeneca this month, instead of a hundred and instead of a hundred, a hundred thousand plus a plus eight thousand, hundred eight thousand, right? As he previously confirmed, now we're saying it's 33,000 because the, here we say now the are saying that. The Yasin said, had confidently stated at a news conference on February 27th, do we have that? That the first tranche of 108,000 doses of AstraZeneca was approved. He said it was approved and confirmed and will be delivered in March. Yeah, we say now, he started to backpedal because let me tell you something, Augustine now, 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 now took over. Oscar Francois, Oscar Francois, so it's no competition in the market again. Us, the U.S. dealing with Merck, one of, one of the agencies responsible for making the, the, one of, the, the vaccine. So they took, over, they, they took over the market. So everybody started backpedal and move slow. They're giving cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. Little bit, little bit. Let me tell you something. We are on an island. And if you come and everybody vaccinated, everybody what we studying money for? And we are and we get nine billion the last year. What we do with it? Rowley, where do it? You buy goat? Where do it? Come out and tell nation, where do it? Where do it? You make pay news, where do it? People have to be on all your like ticks. But people afraid. People afraid. People afraid. Now we know time to, to just boy. I don't want to say the word now. I don't want to say the word. I am just a different person, ladies and gentlemen. I am a different person. I want to highlight things for you. I want to tell you what's going on. I want to tell you what's going on. One man is dead and two others injured after shooting Las Lomas on Tuesday afternoon. I said, hey, Herma George of Janky Chase Las Lomas was shot dead near his home. The two other victims wounded during the shooting were taken to hospital for treatment. Open up the lines really fast. I want to say a special hello. I want to say a special to Homeland Marketing for all your raw iron. Also, Food Max, located at Calcutta, number three, Mark Bincouva. Want to say a special hello to Food Max. Also, go, Goalies, Apple Cider Vinegar. Say a special hello to them. Also, O Snacks. Also, Custom Canopies and Covering for all your awning and covering needs. Adam's Optical. Let us help those children out there. I want to help those children because they could be suffering. They could be suffering for, for, for the eyes right now. Yeah, a lot of them. Computer vision syndrome, CVS, a serious thing. 
Because children spending too much, too, too much, too, 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 so much time on the devices. Because as the teacher said, take a break, and they had a phone, they're playing game. They're watching YouTube. They're watching video. No rest. I want to say a special to AG's marketing. Yeah. Also, Neo Eyewear. Also, ladies and gentlemen, so just to let you know, one man is dead and two others injured. Let me see the shots we got from, um, from Las Lomas, please. I'm seeing a sign. What is this? Okay, I need to see more. Can I say, I can't say, I can't. Dispatch a camera, I'm going to show me a sign. I don't work in the corporation, I don't want to see the name of a road. Also, ladies and gentlemen, also, a 17 year old Tunapuna boy was reported missing and was discovered dead near his home this morning. Christopher Cummins of Archong Trace was found dead on Tuesday, 9th of March. According to reports around 11 a.m., the teen was seen last, fri last Friday, was discovered by CPAP workers with a gunshot wound. Under two he was under two pieces of galvanized in a ditch. What bacchanal is this boy? All I'm watching what's going on in America, that's what I tell you every day you now. Support my show. Support me, show right behind me. Right, I want people right behind me. I tell you, wrongs and people see. If you stand up, you die here, you know. Look, they move anybody, they remove anybody of the 17 year old. Because Christopher Cummins, he was missing since Friday. Gunshot wound at And what happened in Barrackport today? Also, ladies and gentlemen, a bandit was shot dead in was shot dead in Barakpur by a prison officer. It happened earlier today, so we just take shots at the area in Barakpur. Those of you who live in Barakpur, you can WhatsApp me on 294. 4081. Also, police are investigating the murder of a 38 year old mover man after an early morning shooting on Tuesday. Adissa Williams of Monrepo Road was shot and killed along the roadway on Tuesday, the 9th of March. Around 4 10, Williams and his best friend and his friend were walking, out, walking to work when a man dressed in a black confronted them and shot William once. His friend managed to escape. When Williams tried to run away, he was shot in the chest. Also, ladies and gentlemen, hours after, hours after a 33-year-old man was shot at his Chamflair home, he died from gunshot wounds while being treated at the hospital on Monday. Anthony Raymond, a.k.a. Bamp, was declared dead around 10.40 a.m. after he was shot at Mongda Road home on Monday the 8th. At around 1.10 a.m., relatives heard banging at their front door. The intruder broke down the door and ran to Raymond's bedroom and shot him several times. I want to bring back something. I want to bring back something. I want to bring back something. There was a woman who was sitting in her living room and she was shot. Don't bring back that. Forget that, forget that. That has a case. That case, it was from South. It, it is concerning someone, an adult, I ain't saying who relation to who relation, having sex with a minor. And I want the police to know. It is that shooting has connection with a minor, with an adult having sex with a minor. Yes. I spoke to that woman who was shot already. And apparently, it has to do with that. Because the person who was having sex with the minor promise to kill all the whole family if anybody talk about sex with a minor they are going to die and it have other people to get shoot that is when ladies and gentlemen after i found out about that matter remember i told you i spoke to asp allen from child protection unit it was in connection with that, that, that particular case i don't know what relation it is with the woman and whatnot but all I know, 
In that whole situation, there was a case where an individual was having sex with a minor. So apparently the individual made threats to kill anybody in the neighborhood or any family member related to the, individual, the victim. If you come out and talk, I will kill you. So that is when I spoke to ASP Allen, only to find out over the weekend that is the woman that got shot. I wonder, you see, but again, there's only much that I could do. The matter was brought to my attention. I brought it to the attention of the commissioner of police. I spoke to him on the phone. In return, he said, contact ASP Allen from Child Protection Unit. I don't know if the Child Protection Unit went down, if there is a cover-up. I do not know. But to this day, I know that no arrest has been made. So I just want them to know what you are investigating. The woman was shot. Just want you to know that all I can tell you because it involves a minor. I can't tell you the connection. I can't tell you who the woman know. I don't want to go into that. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't want you to connect the dots because it involves a minor. So we have to protect the minor. So any individual who, any, any child who's been interfered, we must protect you. We must protect you from the public. Protect you from the victim and protect you from the general public. Must do that. And the perpetrator. We're going to take a fast break, but I hope you see what's going on. I hope you really see what's going on. The other thing say, bring an X amount of doses. Now you realize, even, let me tell you something, on December 11, 2020, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Arouli assured all preparation to receive the COVID-19 vaccine had been have been put in place by government. Remember when he said that? Remember when he said that in 11, 2020? Responding to a question. Yeah, what he say? He said they put, they put a down payment. <laughs> he said he put a down payment. You put a down payment, so we are getting it yet. All the few people do this. All the feel all this acquisition with Oscar Francois and all kind of back and all things. I want you to go super farm every day. That's what I want you to do. Don't go buy Nancy. Don't go buy Staten Drugs. Don't go by step on your day, advertise with us. Don't go. Or let's say, nah, we're going to find all your tail by step on drugs now. Look at billions of dollars they make. Look at billions and billions of dollars they make. All the pharmaceutical board, you can rant and rave how much you want. They will rub it in your face. They don't care. But let me tell you something. We must get up and talk. We must get up. We must get up and talk. All this gas thing, shut down the place. No driving. I'm not driving a car taking off McKinney Road. You telling me you, you want to send up gas, um, take out super and make me pay for premium? You know what more you want pre, pre, premium burning out? It ain't even lasting. It ain't even lasting. Premium don't last. Everybody know that yeah, good and good, but at the end of the day, it's money, you know. It's money to save, and nobody cares about the poor man. Nobody cares about the poor man. I tell them my approach of fixing this place is different. You know. Come out and bust everybody through to expose all of them. What they are saying and them can talk to me. Yeah, you can talk to me. By rock so by Rowdy, you can talk to me. You are what you call a chronic liar. You are the same lying, no good man that went up and said, not a petrician worker will go home. You bring out all the oil. Just what you did here with respect to the gas. All the Senate all kind of press release. No, no, no. We are going home. We are sending nobody home. We are doing this. When you bust petrician truth. When you buzz the truth, where you say it's necessary. Watch Wasa. Wasa workers. Don't take chain up by Gonzalez. Yeah? Do not take it. Do not take it today. I tell you today, do not take it. That's why you can have money super far making. Now. <laughs> this place is sick. Now. It's sick. And the bold face is a bold face. There's a bold face corrupt government. Now. Me, I want to hear about nobody again. I say empty parliament. Move all them rubbish from there. Move them. Move them. Let's take a fast break. Are we done no more break again? Okay. Open up your lines a little bit. Open up your lines a little bit. Let me hear from all you. Hi, Cole. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hey, I see a Muslim. Hold on. I saw a woman with hijab. I saw a woman with hijab. She was, a, she was charged for fraud. Right? Her name is Khadija Ali. I dealt with her already. This woman. Khadija Ali is her name. Let me tell you something. Anybody who have had dealings with that woman and was fearful, um, whatever, and you think that 
You didn't get any justice, or maybe you want to get in contact. Go to Fraud Squad, please, because this is a woman, Khadija Allen. She wears a hijab. A West Morin woman was granted 300 toes. I didn't know she lived in West Morin. Khadija Ali, 59, was charged with fraudulent conversion, amounting to 284,000, lasting year of the sum of TT 80,000 and 2,500 US and whatnot. So, hats off to Fraud Squad. That's the best thing I see all the people along this while. But anyhow, other people who have matters with, that you did business with Khadija Ali, go to Fraud Squad in Port of Spain. Let them know. They did well. You all did well. Excellent. I also want to big up. I saw a clip with some nice police women celebrating. Um, I sent it on, 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 on my group today. Right? We want, we want to big up all these nice police women and them. Go ahead. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. That's surely one of the steps too. Now you have to big up the police people and then people big them up and big them up. Big up the nice woman on the step. Sexy police officers up there. That's really nice. All them had a gun and thing. That's bad. Open up the lines. I call like an evening you're live on crime. But just uh, to, all, to all the police officers in that, just to big up all your, yesterday was Women's, you know, International Women's Day. Nobody bigging up the normal woman and them and everybody only bigging up people in double-breasted suit. Office executive, one that. Where do you think they reach there? People selling doubles, people selling, um, people are vendors on St. Vincent Street. Woman who, woman who lose, take up no good man and the man gone. And they raise children and become doctors and lawyers. They, happy Women's Day to them. I call a good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, yeah, and good night. Mm -hmm. I see you all showing up videos at wedding yesterday, boy. Yeah, you didn't see the wedding? Yeah, boy, watch me. No, no, but oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not, yeah, that's yeah. not, what's here, you're not talk, baby. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh. I hear, I hear now 1% family, family, there's only married family, right? true? Family what? Family, there's only married family, there's only one family. I don't, I don't know about that, 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 I don't know about that. I don't know about the relationship, I don't know about that. Yeah, but it's at a wedding, it's at a wedding, we're watching over the weekend. I hear people come down here, boy, no, no quarantine, boy, what? Watch, watch. Rub it in all your face, that's what they're doing. But we're not taking that. We're not taking that. I know business about them and everything. I think that is nice and bright and groom and thing. I wish them all the best. But what I say, let me tell you something. Until the one percent, let me tell you, I don't hate all you, you know. I don't hate all you. Let me tell you, I do not dislike all you. But what good for all you, good for us. And we will continue to make noise. We have to be treated fairly. What good for all you, good for us. Even look at good on the islands and thing. Don't, don't, don't think among all your community alone. It's a hot one, you know. We are a lot thing. When you cross that Carney River, you know. When you cross that, 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 that lighthouse. Hot, hot thing, you know. You understand? Real hot thing, you know. Real nice afro Trinidadian girls, Af um, East Indian girls, nice women. So don't feel only all you alone because all you have a little color. We are hot thing. What is it? You know that song, Bronx Skin? You, you know? You know that song, Bronx Skin? So ladies and gentlemen, just have to keep your eyes open. The pharmaceutical board, keep your eyes open. Look what's going on, man. Look what's going on. All you pay attention, you see? They're fixing Augustine, boy. Augustine fixing, boy. The bio-over is, is controlled now. So here now is pressure for pharmacies just now. You know? Nobody here wants to say nothing. Everybody taking. Why do you think Raul and them doing us this? Why do you think that the government at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, doing what? Doing? Doing us, do, doing us this. Because nobody is speaking out. And let's still let them know. I'm taking my goalie. Or let's make sure and get your ads on crime. Watch you now because a lot going to happen over the week. Over this weekend. Uh, you have a fire and pre-sale today. Show it fast. I'm taking my, taking my goalie gummies. Right? From Civic. Civic is the distributor. Go ahead. Where, where's the fire? Hey, boy. That easy. Hold me. Tomorrow, taking more calls. Open. Come back to me. I'm taking more calls. If you don't stand up, you will die. Just remember that if we don't stand up, we will die. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. Get in contact with me. Book your ads. Call me on 294 Let me know what's going on. We always remember, I am your voice. And we are not going to take what this government gives to us. Good night. Yo, this is jungle loud. This is, this is, this is jungle loud.